If there's a part of your worksheet that you want Excel to treat as a separate data sheet from the rest of the worksheet, then go ahead and convert that range into a table. In fact, the definition of a table is that it has contiguous rows and columns of data and not empty rows in between the data or empty columns that Excel treats as a separate data sheet from the rest of the worksheet. So to go ahead and convert this range into a table, I recommend that you select it first. And there's two ways that you can go ahead and convert a range into a table. Here's the first way. Either come up here and click on the Insert tab, go to the Tables group and click on Table. You get the pop-up window that says, OK, where's the data for your table? By default, since we had it selected, it's got it selected here. Of course, if we need to make changes to it, you can either type it in or click on the Classable dialog box button and just click and drag to select the appropriate range. Hit Enter on the keyboard. It pops back open. And then by default, it's got My Table Has Headers checked, meaning that in your table, do you have a header row that tells you what each column is about, the label for each column. So here's the header row. There's the label for this column. That's about essential oils. This is for the category, price, and stock, and so on. If everything looks good, then go ahead and click OK, and hey, there you go. You have banded rows of color within your table, so it's easier to track with the eye when you go from left to right, because when you're looking at clove, you have a lighter shade of blue in between two darker shades. So think of it like bumpers along each side of the bowling alley here to keep your eye in line when you go over here to the right hand side and look at what you have on order. And then you also get these drop down arrows that we'll talk about in a later training video. But basically you can go ahead and do your sorting within the table here, ascending, descending, do some filtering. That's one way to go ahead and convert a data range into a table. The other way, let me go ahead and hit undo, is to, on the Home tab, come over here to the Styles group and click on Format as Table, and you can see you've got the Light, Medium, and Dark categories. Go ahead and find one. Hover over it if you want the exact name. That one says Table Styles Medium 2. Go ahead and click on it. It confirms the range that we have selected. If we want a different range, then go ahead and make the change here. We've got headers or labels for our column in the header row here or the first row. So click Okie Dokie, and it converts it. Cool. And then once the table is created, you have up here the Related Contextual Design tab that it's available when you have any cell in the table selected. When you click off of it, it disappears. Go ahead and click back on it or click on a cell within the table and it comes back up. And let's come over here to the Properties group and say, OK, the name of the table isn't the generic table 3. We're going to call it my, my Spiffy table because, hey, everything we do here is Spiffy. Hit Enter to accept it. And it says, um, look, we don't like spaces, so go ahead and use underscore. Let me click okie dokie. And what it means by that is that an underscore, it looks like a space, but it really isn't a space. So if I go my underscore spiffy underscore table, the underscore down at the bottom, I don't really notice it, so I just look at the my spiffy table. But it's something that Excel needs because it doesn't like spaces when it comes to naming a table. Go ahead and hit enter, and it's happy. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.